Now it's time for another edition of What Would Jello Do? Back behind us is the checkpoint outside the Tornillo Bridge, outside of Tornillo, Texas, where it's all going down. But behind these fences, there's those tents you've seen the aerial pictures of, the ones that look like the double wide of the San Quentin gas chamber. And as one of the speakers at this rally pointed out, kidnapping children like this, it's not just an impeachable offense, that is arguably a war crime. Not just impeaching the Trump administration for kidnapping, but yanking children, even some breastfeeding Muslim mothers, locking them up in places like that, scattering them who knows where, so their parents can't even find them and the government doesn't even know where they are, that is a crime against humanity, a war crime. That is where impeachment could go and should go. As one sign said, deport the racists, not the kids. And there's more to come. See you shortly. Now it's time for part two of what would Jello do. Behind me is part of the uh, wall that was built before the fan, the big beautiful wall that hopefully is never going to be built. I think this goes back to the George W. Bush administration and Rio Grande River is on the other side of that. And then over here is a place apparently called the Hole in the Wall that was built. It's pretty near a few miles from the kids, the ones who came across on their own, where they can't find family on either side of the border to release them to, and apparently not a sponsor either. I don't know how hard they've tried, but from what I'm told, this there are dormitories, there are schools, and other things, and it's not just throwing people in a tent far away from everybody else and forgetting about them. But not even this comes close to something that was actually working earlier that could have prevented this whole thing called the Family Case Management Program, where they would take the families if they came across, no jails, keep them in a cottage situation or try to find sponsors, and it was an honor system as to when you came to court, and according to, I think it was either PBS or HuffPost or both, 99% compliance with court dates, 97% for the prior check-ins with case managers, and even though it was run by uh, a private prison company called Geo, Geo Care in this case, $36 per family, the whole family per day, instead of three to four hundred dollars per head in Trump's baby jails. We need to bring back the family case management program that Trump quietly abolished when he first took office and nobody reported on it because he was too busy reporting on Russia and the floozies over and over and over again. Family case management program, bring it back.